This morning, speaking of fall, we're talking a few meal ideas to cook up this Thanksgiving. Action Force Daisy Martinez is with us live from HEB Plus. She's with Chef James Thompson. Daisy. And we're back with more turkey time here with James. And we're just going to go back to the turkey because obviously it's the most important part of the Thanksgiving dinner. Without the turkey, everything else kind of eh, just crumbles apart. Right, James? Absolutely. Now so tell just, us what you're doing. Well, we're just finishing up with the injections. Um, you want to make sure while you're doing this that you, you do it very slowly. You want to give the tissues time to absorb the, uh, the injectable. And if you get a little oozing, that's normal. And then what? Go ahead. And the rub. You use a certain type of rub. What other kinds of rubs could people use? Well, it's really up to them. They could use a lemon pepper. They could use a uh, Jamaican jerk rub, which is a brown sugar and chili flake rub. Uh, they could just do real simple salt, pepper, and garlic. It's really up to them. I, I like the Cajun myself. It's it's really popular with turkeys, especially with fried turkeys. So, and um, stuffing, another big part of the turkey sometimes. What do you recommend with stuffing? Oh, with stuffings, there's all kinds of options. You can do the traditional cornbread stuffing. You can add some sausage. You can add oysters to that. You can add uh, diced apples. You could do a straight up uh, mushroom stuffing if you want to go low carb, or even a uh, feta cheese and spinach stuffing. There's literally. So you can get really creative with all absolutely. the Thanksgiving stuff just with the turkey and the Absolutely stuffing. Be creative. And after we go from here to here, the finished product, what about the carving? That's also important, right? That's, that's very important. Uh, for the carving, want to trade you, here for a little bit? Trade. All right. Uh, for the carving, you want to make sure you've got a, a clean workspace to, to work with and you need a good sharp knife. If you have one, a, a, a barbecue fork is handy. And then um, you can do this one of two ways. You can either remove the breast off the bone and then carve it that way, or if you want to have the nice presentation on the platter, you can carve uh, right off the right off the turkey. And um, you just want to uh, uh, brace the turkey with with one hand and make sure to uh, ride the blade down your knuckles so that you don't slice into your finger. And we don't we don't need any extra garnish for the turkey. Very carefully, huh? Mm -hmm. And you want to just cut it at almost a uh, almost a 90 degree angle, right along the breastbone. And just carve nice, uh, nice slices right down the bone. Wow, that looks really yummy. Nice and tender, huh? Mm-hmm. And then you can just uh, lacquer this onto a platter and serve. And if people want to have options, they can. What other things can they serve besides turkey? Obviously, the ham, the turkey. What else? Uh, prime ribs are very popular. Also, uh, roasted goose, uh, turduncans. Uh, some people like to do duck for, for the holidays. Um, I know for, uh, in my family for, for Christmas we do tamales, so uh, there's really no uh, no taboo meal for the holidays. Get creative, right? Mm -hmm. okay. It's more about getting everybody together and the family and, and the fellowship than it is about what you're eating. Correct, and give thanks. Alrighty, well, we'll be back with more Turkey 101 here at the HEB Plus in Brownsville. That's all for now. Victoria?